A morning out on the mountain, one of my favorite places to be. These rocky cliffs are home to a lot of different wildlife, but there's one animal in particular that I search these mountain slopes for, Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep, the true masters of this terrain. But for me, spending time with these bighorns is about more than just photography. Years ago, when I was just starting into wildlife photography, Bighorn sheep were the first species that I made specific photography goals for. I was determined to photograph these regal animals, and so I set out to do just that. It was a slow start. Months went by without even a glimpse. But I had my mind set and I wouldn't stop until I got my pictures. One winter morning, I set out with bighorns in mind. Something just felt different that day. I trudged up the mountain through snow, ice, and rocks, and hours later, found myself on the edge of a rocky cliff in the middle of a blizzard. Visibility was low, but in the midst of that storm, I saw a far-off bighorn ram disappear in some ice-covered rocks. No pictures resulted from that sighting, but the excitement grew within me. In the coming weeks, I finally got my first pictures of these beautiful sheep, some truly cringe-worthy images, but at the time, I was beyond thrilled with them. As time went on, I continued to seek out these beautiful animals. More and more encounters followed, and my pictures of these bighorns and my photography in general began to improve. Periodically, I evaluated my goals revolving around these sheep and updated them as needed. Setting continual goals, especially specific goals revolving around a specific species, helps you as a photographer to be able to see and recognize the progress you've made. So next time you feel you're not improving in your wildlife photography, choose a species, set some goals, make a plan to accomplish them, and get to work. Once you've accomplished what you set out to do, repeat the process. Do this over and over again. With time, you'll be able to see the improvement in the photos that you take, and you'll even have examples to compare side by side so you can visually see how far you've come. It's so easy for me to just lose myself up in these mountains. I absolutely love it up here on these rocky mountainsides and in these mountainous cliffs. I love this terrain and I love these bighorn sheep. I hope you guys have enjoyed. With all the snow that we've gotten this winter, 
it's really pushed these bighorn sheep to new areas to uh, locations where I haven't really explored before so you know what that means I get a get out hiking exploring new areas and I absolutely love it I hope you guys have enjoyed these bighorn sheep this week they're so much fun let me know down in the comments how goals have helped you improve your own wildlife photography and if there's been a specific species or multiple species that have helped you along the way I would love to hear about it if you're interested in photographing these bighorn sheep or if there's another species that you've been hoping to photograph for a while and you just can't seem to to get the pictures that you want. I'll put a link in the description below that leads to my private workshop page on my website. Click that link, let me know what species you're hoping to photograph, and we'll start talking the details about getting you the pictures that you're hoping for. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. We'll see you next time.